Hello, everybody, and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy, Starving College Student Edition. The mantra of these episodes is to show you how to make foods that are cheap, fast, and tasty. Because there are times in our lives, like when you're at home with young kids, that you don't want to spend much time in the kitchen because you're always breaking up their fights. And you don't want to spend a lot of money because childcare is murderously expensive. Yet, you still want something tasty that you can enjoy. Well, if that describes you or so many know, then come along with me as I take out a staple from my college days. You want to know what's so good? Well, come on, everybody. Let's slap together a cheap, fast, and tasty meal. Today I'm starting a new series on simple foods that are great for the budding chef to get their chops going and good for the seasoned chefs they have something cheap and fast that they can make. You'll notice that I'm going to price points so that you know how much this dish is going to cost you for serving. And today's shout out goes to... The Bomb Smoke. Take a look at his channel, links are in the description. He has a great tasty dish on Vortex Chicken, which is very good, as well as Pico de Bamo, which is his take on Pico de Gallo. Take a look at his channel, it's a very interesting channel with some great foods in there for you to make. If you want your own special shout out, stay tuned to the end of the video where I tell you how. Today's dish from college is a dish my brother brought back home for his first stint in college, living alone. And I like to call it the Lazy Man's Nacho. Here are the ingredients. Restaurant style tortilla tips. A block of cheese. I'm gonna use sharp cheddar. Some people would prefer mild cheddar like my daughter. Still others would like medium cheddar. Or you can use Jack, Pepper Jack, Colby Jack, or any other blends of cheeses that you'd put in a Mexican dish. They all taste the same. Your favorite bottle toss. Now you can make your own salsa if you're adventurous, but we're talking fast, and that's not very fast. Bottle stuff works fine. As part of our fast mantra, this dish takes very little time to prepare. You can see I'm opening up a new block of cheese. It's fine. I'm not even going to use my special cheese knife that I have. I'm just going to use a regular knife. Because in college, you probably don't have any special knives, fancy knives. You know what? Yes, you can open packages with a knife. Okay. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to use a regular dinner knife. Because you probably have one of these around. You may not have any fancy knives and I'll show you that you can just cut the cheese with just your standard regular knife. No extra expense needed. There's a good nice thick cut. You don't need them to be thin. In fact, you don't necessarily want them to be thin. You can cut them as thin as you like. Even with a knife such as this. A little hard to cut. But hey, we're going cheap, you know. We're going cheap. If you want to do it this way, actually this way is a little better. Watch, it goes right down through. You can cut as much cheese as you want. I'm gonna do one more. I'll show you the thin slice. No, I probably wouldn't cut this much. Depends on how hungry you are. But I'll show you, you can just still do thin slices with a knife such as this. All the way down. And there we go. 
nice set of cheeses. Now we're going to cut them up a little bit more. Oh, I'm thinking thirds. Cut the size you like. Notice I put aside the sharpest knife. Didn't even get my cheese knife out, which is what I usually would do. But, you know, you're probably on a budget going to buy space of knives. There, you first start with the cheese. Epic food hack. You're gonna buy cheese in a block because it's cheaper, believe it or not, than buying either sliced or shredded cheese. And you don't wanna buy shredded cheese because it has potato starch on it to keep it from sticking together. So if you try and melt it, it doesn't melt as well as this stuff. But you'll notice that this stuff has a little bit of stick to it still. Can't do that with shredded cheese. So here's my epic food hack. It's time for an epic food hack with Daddy. Now that you bought your block of cheese, you want to save it for next time. You don't want it to go bad. Insert the Ziploc bag. There goes the cheese into the bag, and you won't get the hardened ends that the air does. I am also pushing out the air as I seal it. So there it is, my block of cheese in a Ziploc bag. Very, very important to keep your cheese nice by having it in a Ziploc bag. Now it's ready for use next time. Don't want to use all the cheese, the cheese is expensive. Okay, so we get my plate. You don't really even need a plate. I'm gonna show this to you as a plate. You can just take the chip straight from the bag if you wanted to, not do your plate even. Take a chip from the bag, put on a slice of cheese, and then, here comes the sauce. You'll need a spoon for this. Take your sauce. Spoonful of sauce. Put it directly on the chip. And there you have Lazy Man's Nachos. I usually eat them one by one. Make one, eat one. I'll show it to you again. That's how fast it is. That's the fast part. And I'll show you the cheap part. Now let's get to the tasty part. So let me how to show you to make Lazy Man's nachos. Grab a chip. Take a slice of cheese. Use a spoon if you have a thick sauce or you're adventurous. You can just pour it directly onto the cheese itself. Chip, cheese, salsa. Put a little more on this one. Hmm. Don't have to use a plate, you can use a napkin. You risk the spoon falling in though, in this sauce exactly. Mm. Crispy chip. Mm cheese. That's awesome. A little upgrade from this chips and salsa. Why do you want the cheese you wonder? If you do chips and salsa? Cheese adds the protein. Cheese adds the fillingness. Makes you feel more full. All that protein. Chip, cheese, salsa. Cheap. Fast. Mm. And tasty. You finish with your lazy man's nachos. I have a way to keep these chips that you just opened up fresh and tasty. You're not gonna eat the whole bag. It's time for an epic food hack with Daddy. You're gonna use them again for when you make Lazy Man's nachos later. So what we're gonna do? Gallon freezer bag, bag of chips, 
There's lots of bears. And once you've eaten enough chips, you should have plenty of room. Put it back in. Seal it up. Press that excess air. And there you go. Another epic food hack. Keep your chips nice and fresh for longer. Keep them in a Ziploc bag. Since you made it this far, go ahead and dump on that like button, just like I dumped some salsa onto my Lazy Man's Nachos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of all my new videos that come up on Mondays. And just as much as those who don't watch the outros, go ahead and slip the word olives into your comments below to have a chance at a shout in my next video. Thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.